Hello and welcome to a video by me, Joe 24 As I continue on Let's Play, I want to look at Andreas, much of a completion run. And this time we are doing the import export side mission. List 1 has 10 cars on it, there are 3 lists in total, which means there's 30 cars in total, there's 10 on each. And we're going to do list 1, of course, because that is the first one. And the first car I'm going to go get is the Stretch. And wanted for this side mission, the Stretch limo can be found here by the one cars asset. And it is by the racing, the racing Corona. Once you get to the boat, you, if you use the crane to pick it up, come on. There we go. Now one thing to be warned here is that your money will depend on the damage of the car. So the worst condition the car is in, the less you will get. So be careful when on the on the crane. And of course be careful driving here. One thing you can do is use your garage, which is obviously just across the street, to repair all the damage for free. Oh, if you, I didn't mean to do that. Oh damn it. I pressed the wrong button. And I'll tell you to look at the controls of it when you're doing when you're doing bloody missions. So I won't get full uh, money for this because I'll damage the car. And obviously you drop it into the crown and not um, to the side of it. Come on. Oh, $40,000. I think I got the full amount there. That's alright then. Once you deliver, as you see there in the top left corner, once you deliver a car, you can then buy it for import. Although really what you can really do is, it's guaranteed to spawn when it's wanted, but it won't spawn anymore in that specific location. Well, some of them anyway, depends where I get them from. Once you uh, once you drop it, also, if you really want the car, you can just put one in the garage and go back to the spawn and then take that one. But you can also buy a few cars from here. I believe that one should now be available on the Saturday. Indeed it is. And I will see you for the next car. The next car we are getting is the Patriot. Now there are a few places you can get this car. You can get it from the naval base right by, well naval base right by the uh, the dockyard. So you can just sort of take it, steal it and try and get rid of the police. Alternatively you can go to the Area 69. But there'll be no point in that because if you can get a fast one, you might as well go for the one here. Now if you don't want to deal with the coppers, you can get one from Easter Bay Chemicals, the uh, the plant here. Bear in mind, this will only spawn when you need to do the input export. It won't spawn here again. So once you get this car, you'll only spawn in the military bases. So here we are, back at the docks with the Patriot. It should have no damage. I did put it in my garage to fix it. There we go. In fact, that is damaged. I can see the damage on the door. 39960, as you can probably tell, it is uh, $40,000 you can get for maximum. But was damage on the drop down. Uh, I use the energy to get back out there. You can also use the forklift if you want to, but it's a lot slower. The next vehicle is the Sanchez. You can pick it up from this dirt part here near Angel Pine. If this one doesn't spawn, you can also get it from the safe house here in Angel Pine. But I believe, I believe this one's what spawns in when you need to get it for the import export. I don't know why when there's one literally over there, but nevertheless, we've got one here. Okay, now this time that someone the Sanchez and they're in a car, I'm just gonna go up these stairs. Hopefully we get full money here. Oh crap, and it stopped me. <laughs> I thought it was just gonna stop me. Sometimes it does that. There we go. Ten thousand dollars. The next car we are getting from this list is the camper, which can be found at the diner restaurant uh, near Katie, right here. Just near the uh, the Gamp Bridge. Mm -hmm. 
All right, then here we are now. I'm hoping I haven't damaged this car too much, even though money-wise I'm doing pretty all right. I don't think I'm gonna got like three tier passes to buy anyway, so I don't really need the money at this point. But the more the more I have, the better. Hopefully this is full value. I didn't damage it too badly, I don't think. Twenty six thousand dollars. I'll have to check if that's the full amount of I've lost four thousand dollars. But I will see you for the next car. The Infernus can be found near the camper and near KT again. Two streets up from your Chinatown safe, or Paradiso safe house, I should say. I think Chinatown's over here. No, that at the west of the P and Spray. The police are going to go mad at me in a minute. It's locked. I can get this guy. Okay, so as you can see, that one was still locked. However, one just spawned right next to it on the uh, on the actual road, so I'm just taking that one. Uh, what you can do is, if you can force that infernus that is locked into your garage, it will unlock it for you. You can always get like a pickup truck to do that. That's the easiest thing to do. Yeah, well, I believe they are in this game. Are they in this game? I'm actually not sure now, I must check that as well. <laughs> but you can get it into this garage here. Oh, what the fuck? It will unlock it for you. And it'll be business as, well, as normal. Oh, come on! Here we are, dropping off the Infernus, which is a bit of a pain to get. There we go. I believe this is the most valuable um, list one car you can get, so you want to make sure this isn't damaged. It's worth, especially if it's you know if you're in San Piero for the first time, and you're not done what I've done and gone to the casino and actually won. Hey, uh, this can be a lot of money for you. Assuming I can actually get that one. There we go. I've damaged it a little bit by scraping it on the boat, but that's not a problem for me. Ninety-four thousand nine hundred and five. I believe it's ninety-five thousand you can get for maximum for that. So worth a lot of money. And now there's two more cars, because after you do so many cars, another one becomes available, aside from the ones you are exporting. The Feltzer can be found here in Flint County, in this big uh, little grey patch here. What the building is it? It's a decent set of houses. And the Feltzer is the one without a roof. Alright, then here we are at the docks. The worst part about this is just driving back and forth everywhere. But what are you going to do? I don't think I get full money for this. I did repair it at my garage, but I'm pretty sure I damaged it on the way here. What's some say? No, I didn't. $35,000. I think there's four more to go now. Yeah, the problem with this though is that all four of them are in the Los Santos or the countryside, so you're going across the map to get them. Unless you spot them on the way. Which you can't do, you don't have to get the, the spawn locations. If you just see the one on the road, out of luck, um, just get that one. But there's always a fixed location for each car. And that's what I'm showing in this video. The Buffalo can be found at um, Catalina's safe house in Fern Ridge. And this will always spawn in regards if you're doing input export or not. Here we are now at the cranes with the Buffalo. This will worth a decent amount of money because it's actually a pretty damn good car to be fair. It's quite very fast and quite agile as well. Just gonna let it stop spinning a little bit. There we go. Thirty-five thousand dollars. Just four to go. Or three to go even on list number one. <laughs> Just two more lists after this to go. The Admiral can be found at this building here at Ferrona Beach. A, a little bit south of Market and down really east of your safe house. You can find it just parked on the street. Just watch out for any ballers if you're doing this late game. And here we are, let's drop the Admiral off.
There's some money. How much? Come on, give it to me again. $35,000. So I just went all the way to get a freaking pickup truck. And it's not locked. It was before. <sighs> right. You can find... You can find... Oh, I'm going for almost an hour and I've got, what, three cars out of it because I've done less than one in two sessions. But you can find um, the Amaral. This is the Amaral. Isn't it? It's not the Sentinel. I think it is actually the Sentinel. Yeah, it's the Sentinel. You can find the Sentinel in Vinewood at the movie studio. It was in the, right, in the bottom right corner of it. And here we are then to drop off the Sentinel. Well, it's the Sentinel. It's not the Emerald, is it? It is a Sentinel. Yes, it is. I crashed the other one, so I had to get the other. I had to go go back and get it because <laughs> I'm amazing. But uh, we're just gonna drop it off now. I believe this only leaves the Remington. I've got no armor. Not bad, not. Don't want to damage it, so I'm going to put a quick lever before I put it down. There we go. And I'll get you $35,000. Of course, the last one to go is the Remington, also in Los Santos. The final car on list won the Remington can be found at Unity Station. Uh, near the Lost Aztecas territory, and of course, where the lower lowrider side mission takes place. Alone, uh, Los Vargos there. Just gonna kill him. It's also where you come with big smoke to shoot the fools on the damn train. Unfortunately, this one is locked. But they can spawn unlocked, so I'm going to have to go around the block and hope it spawns unlocked this time. Here we are then with the final car of this one. Oh, it took about two hours to get them on. <laughs> Usually the longest thing you do because you're driving all across the map. It's only like a third of the cars are in San Fierro. Which sucks, but what are you going to do? It, it does give you a lot of money though, so if you're like mid-game wanting a bit, quite a bit of money, um, this is really good to do. It's not exactly hard, and you know what I mean. You get over 30, 40 grand a car, and if you get all of of um, a list, you get I think it's 50 grand, then 100 grand, and uh, then 200 grand, something like that. But this one gives you 50 grand, and they got like just over 29,000, so it was a 30,000 pound a dollar car in total, and that unlocks list number two. Now that's going to be it for this episode because I don't stop recording when I go to get a car so all my travelling is in there so the file size are quite big so I need to edit this before I continue so I might publish all of them in one go I might separate them out but there will be separate videos one for each list thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time some more Let's Play you have to go to San Andreas and then